Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Anadonia. How are you? I'm kinda tired, but other than that, I am peachy. And yes, another episode of Anadonia does of course mean once again we are working on the next step of uh, upgrades for these storage components. As you can see, we finished off the last session completing the 64k storage component build. Now, we're moving on to the 256k. Which of you, as you might have noticed from that recipe, uh, that requires redstone. Again. Yay. But before we actually work out how we're going to start including redstone into this next line of mechanical crafters, there is something I want to show you very quickly, and it involves this row right here, which is um surprisingly full, given why I need to focus on this. So, one thing you might have noticed is that in between episodes, I've been putting down these pedestals and watches of flowing time to help speed up certain parts of this system that otherwise just wouldn't be fast. For example, once this thing gets a processor part, look how quickly this thing, well, processes. It is nigh instant, okay? Which is why we have so many of these uh, being shipped off down there. However, one thing that has surprised me severely uh, since setting all of this up, is that the bottleneck has changed. It's no longer the redstone, it's no longer the speed at which these things can craft. It's these things right here. The inscribers. The inscribers are what are holding us back. So what we've got to do before we get started on, you know, the next stage of uh, automation, is we're going to build something known as acceleration cards. As you can see here, there are three slots, each one able to hold three cards, which means each one of these inscribers can technically be accelerated nine times the speed, which, I mean, given that this is already relatively fast on its own, is going to be very impressive and very cool to see. But in order to make these acceleration cards, we need advanced cards. And advanced cards are iron ingots, diamond, redstone, and calculation processes. Now, this part is thankfully pretty easy to do. I mean, we already have a system designed to produce specifically these. It's these. Whenever we have this system produce more of these, th this is what we need, the calculation processes. So I'm just going to take very quick inventory of how many of these we actually need, and then I'm going to you know, craft them like like a regular person, like anyone playing Minecraft would have guessed. So we need 9 here, 18, 27, 36. We need 36 of these speed upgrade cards, which, I mean, that's just barely over half a stack. We, we can do that no problem. There we go. 36 acceleration cards. Now, time to distribute them. Oh, I miscounted. I forgot about this one. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. That should be enough. Oh, in fact, we've made too many because it's not that it can hold three. It's that it's worth three, which is very interesting. I guess we made more than we needed. I'm so glad I knew that before I made 42 more of them. There we go. It's not as big of a speed increase as I thought it would be, but all things considered, it's certainly an improvement over what we had previously. There we go. And we've got 30 cards left over now that these have been put in here. Um, right then. Time to move on to the main event. Let's get another one of these set up. So since we've already created a schematic of what we need, since we used the schematic cannon for the last one, we can technically just go that route again. All we've got to do, feed it the materials like we did last time, and then wait for it to go. Hopefully, I might be able to get the time lapse this time. I am not crossing my fingers on that one. Uh, but even if not, it will save us a lot of time, and we might even be able to get two done in today's session if it saves us the amount of time I think it will. Also, on that note, I still don't know why I'm crashing so often. I mean, hell, Ruby doesn't crash this often. He has zero frames, but he doesn't crash. You want to know what did crash me the last time it happened? The rendering of the Wilden Stalkers from Ars Novo, the wolf guys. Guri's foot soldiers. The irony in that is so sweet, because I can't remove them without destroying the lore of this series. The good news about using this is that we don't have to realign it like we did last time because it should be perfectly lined up with the wall this time. Uh, ha, huh, okay. There we go. Is it lined up? Yes, it is. Brilliant. So that's on the second one. That's on the second one. 
That's on. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Okay. It's all in place. Obviously, again, we are gonna have to fix this uh, issue here uh, and uh, this issue here, and we're probably gonna have to replace these because it likes to break them for some reason. Um, but the rest of this looks fine. So let's 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 put it in the cannon. Screw it. It requires the same amount of resources as last time. Let's collect all these, and then let's see if we can time-lapse this one. I still find it immensely funny that the sound for sandpapering the rose quartz is the same as the eating sound. I can't stop imagining someone, like, picking up the sandpaper, and then picking up the rose quartz, and just, like, absolute no-thoughts, empty head, just, just swallowing it down by the chunkful, like, just crunching into the crystal and just chewing it while their gums are bleeding. The, that, that mental image is cosmically funny to me. Well, the good news for us here is that I crashed before I pressed play, so hopefully this time things will work a little better for us. So are you ready to go even further beyond? Right then, not quite what I'd had in mind, considering it missed out quite a lot and just completely didn't finish this area here, which is interesting. Or this area here, which is slightly concerning. I didn't change any settings, so I don't know why it didn't uh, do this, but it's nothing we can't fix ourselves. Just uh, give me a moment to, you know, fix it. There we go. It was a little finicky, but we got there in the end. Uh, I'm still debating with myself whether or not it's more or less work to use the schematic cannon. So far, I'm leaning that it's still worth it, it's still less work to use the schematic cannon, but, um, it's a close one, let me tell you. So, all we need now is to hook this system up to the windmills. But of course, that windmill is maxed out, which means not only are we gonna hook this up to the windmill, we've also gotta hook up a second windmill to the system. So, I will be right back once I have done just that. Okay, and we've just finished hooking it up to the new system. We've also installed the second of the windmills. So, we've, we've got to test it. We've got to see how fast it can go. Will it go any higher? Oh, yes it will. Can it go any higher? Oh, uh, not quite. It can't do 256, but it can do 192, and that is really impressive. Right then, on to the second part of this. Ooh, but no, what is that? Oh, no, 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 please, no, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Forgot about that. Oh, uh, I forgot about that. Right, so I had to disconnect it from the system because, of course, this one doesn't actually use glowstone. I can't believe I forgot that. This one, the 256k, and the next one, the 1 million, both use redstone, not glowstone. So I've got to completely disconnect this part of the system. This part has got to just completely go. Instead, what we've got to do is we've got to hook this up to the redstone line. I forgot about that. Now, the question is, how the hell am I gonna do that? Part of me wants to branch it off of here, but because of the 1k, I believe they are, yeah, because of the 1k storage components moving past here, I don't think it'd be that feasible unless I did a double branch using the brass tunnels, but I don't think that'd work on this part of the system. So I think what we're going to have to do instead is we're going to have to find a way to jump it over this. Now, obviously, we can use the uh, weighted launchers. That is an option. But they lag the system because of all of the entities that have to fire over. So maybe if we create a, a, a diverging path here, but then that would create another branch through the center. And we really want to keep the center of the workshop as open as we can. Uh, okay. Right, let's try the the funnel. Not the funnel, the tunnel. Let's try the tunnel tactic. The, tr the, the, the double T tactic, the tunnel tactic. Let's run it across this part. At a second conveyor that runs alongside the glowstone, lifts over these branches, and then down here. I think... That might work, but of course, in order to do that, we 
Need to make more of the tunnels. Not my favorite thing in the world to craft, thankfully. Pretty easy, though. Okay, so far, the plan is working. Using the double funnel system, I've been able to isolate both of these paths so that still redstone is the only one allowed on this conveyor belt, and that still the 1k storage components are the only thing allowed on this conveyor belt. And at the same time, the funnels, or the tunnels, I keep calling them funnels, allow the redstone to pass through this side unaffected. I've still got to add a filter at the top here, though just to prevent the 1k storage drives from passing through. The issue in lies, however, that this set of gearboxes, which power this part of the, of the setup, completely get in the way of this conveyor belt here. I can move these, but I can't move this. This is stuck here. This is permanent, unless I also move that further up, which... I suppose I could do. Uh, okay, let's move all of this in closer. Let's start, let's start shrinking it in. Okay, so far, the fix looks like it's working. This system is now powered a lot further along. It's not overstressed. Everything looks to be moving in the correct direction. Now all we have to do is change it up here as well. We have to move this gearbox from here to somewhere further up here. Maybe? Mm, maybe. Let's see how this pans out. So again, if we place these here and then we take the belts, we've run out of belts. We take the belts, run them along here. This one starts moving again. What we've got to do now is we've got to add another one of these tunnels on top and we've got to filter it with redstone. And we've got to be very quick about this, otherwise glowstone's going to come down this track as well. So, one and then two. And then we've got to filter this to specifically glowstone to stop that from happening. And then we've got to take that off there. No. no. There we go. That should now make it so that only glowstone is allowed through here. Nothing can come out this direction. And only redstone is allowed down here. So far, this is working. The next step would be to do the same thing in this part of the system here, but I'm not sure if I can get, <laughs> get this to work. If I replace this, so if I get rid of this, I drag the shaft down to be in line with the rest of these, and then I put the gearbox here. That does work. Okay, what we can do now, we can leave the rest of this as is, and we can just drag this uh, shaft not this shaft, sorry. We can put a shaft here. Attach the belt across. Fix the funnel system. And then add the final conveyor belt from here to here. There we have it. We have a working redstone conveyor belt. It goes over the top of all of the others. It doesn't mix through thanks to the brilliant funnel system. And it should if... Oh, that... Okay, that, that's just, oh, that's just spillover from that. Okay, that, that's a one in a million accident. We're fine. We're fine. It's not a big deal. We're fine. Now all we have to do, reattach the cogwheel that we broke, and now it should actually be working. There we go. Oh, you love to see it. The 256,000 ME storage component. That is absolutely brilliant. And, looking at the time, we might have time to try and do the 1 million ME storage component. Because again, it is, technically now, the same setup. It uses redstone. All we'd have to do, use the schematic cannon to paste this in, and then connect the redstone line to it instead of the glowstone line. Although I think instead of using the schematic cannon, we are going to do this one manually. Because, wow, it's going to be a pain in the ass to do it with the cannon. And that's the glass conveyor belt fixed for this part of the thing. Uh, so all that would be left now after, you know, turning that part on... Wait, hang on, no, that is what's left. That Turning that part on is what's left, extending this conveyor belt down here. Right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, so that's all that's left. Let's do that. And 
there we have it for that one. The redstone lane is in position. All we've got to do, add a single funnel onto the end of here, and then whatever has been made, which is so... <sighs> then whatever has been made, which is so far, uh, I don't know, 37, I think, of these gets put onto here. So let's just watch this come down. And the very, 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 very last thing we've got to do for this part of the system is hook it up to the windmills and give it its mechanical arms. So let's do both of them right now. Ah, uh, and obviously, unfortunately, hooking it up to the actual crafting board has resulted in the system being overstressed. But what is overstressed in the face of a third windmill? Okay, so the third windmill is cooking up wonders. All we've got to do now is cook up some mechanical hands and the final cogwheel. Oh, and we've also got to link them, but you know, that's... that's kind of secondary to all of this. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Why did that one give me andesite alloy? What? 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 Okay, let's... Let's run that through one more time. Why would you give... Well, I... Okay. Where the hell did that go? Why do I still only have two? That one didn't even give me a decide alloy. What the hell's that? Uh, 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 okay. L let's try this again. That's uh, what? Okay. I'm feeling slightly scammed here. Thank you. Finally. And that's hand one. And for some reason, it took these when I right clicked it, which is interesting. Now for hand two. There we go. And lastly, hand number three. There we go. Right then, now to finally see if it's truly working, let's add the final cogwheel into the equation. What? Oh, I forgot the gearbox. Yes, there we go. Oh, that is brilliant. Oh, I love that. There we go. The 1 million ME storage component. Two steps left. Only two. We could finish it in today's episode. And it's really tempting to do that. But I can tell I'm running out of steam. And I don't want to be boring when I finally finish this. So instead, I'm going to leave this to do its thing. I'm going to let it build itself up. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little more home improvement. So as you can see, this area is still relatively unfinished. The last time we touched it, we did up the outside part of it. You can uh, see the extra windmills over there. But we've still yet to finish the inside. Obviously, we've still got the roof to do, but we've, we've also got this part of the floor as well, actually. So what we're going to do is that we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna tidy up the roof, we're going to tidy up that bit of floor, and we're also going to finish paving the inside of this part. Because as you can see, we never finished the bend up to this part of the room. So let's get renovating. <laughs> those last few blocks, we have, uh, in my opinion, done enough to say that we've done some home renovation. Uh, again, we aren't quite finished. We didn't end up getting to the ceiling because uh, finishing this part of the room actually took quite a bit longer than I was expecting. That is just an unfortunate side effect of time. But that just means that in the next episode, when we, assumably, wrap up this whole uh, saga of uh, constantly upgrading the storage components, uh, we will finish, or we'll do more, or whatever it is I said, because despite studying that sentence like 10 seconds ago, I completely forgot what I was talking about. I mean, one of the big things beyond, you know, the ceiling and uh, the floor is uh, lighting it up, because I destroyed almost all the torches in there doing this, and I've yet to put them back. I'll probably do that part in between episodes, because that, ladies and gentlemen, and all of those in between is the end of today's session of Anadonia. So, if you liked today's video, make sure to leave a like. If you want to tell me about something that happened in today's video, or you want to comment about anything really, you know, 
leave a comment. And if you enjoy myself in any capacity beyond just a casual glance, then make sure to subscribe for more of me. And uh, yeah, in case I don't see you, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye. Goodbye. I'm saying goodbye now. Bye-bye.